He's made some of the biggest blockbusters in Hollywood history. Now filmmaker George Lucas is going from movie creator to museum curator. Bill Whitaker left Lucas at his Skywalker Ranch where he revealed his new next big project. It's a story you'll see only on CBS This Morning. Skywalker Ranch, 6,000 acres north of San Francisco, a state-of-the-art recording studio, rolling vineyards, and a Victorian-style main house. This is the place that Star Wars built, the vision of George Lucas. Your fingerprints are on every inch of this property. Yep, well, I'm saying the same thing will happen with the museum. It's my big project right now, so I'm going to... His plan? Put all my to make life. art as accessible as so, his movies. Uh, there is a world of young people who need to be inspired. Inside, the works that inspired him, modern technology meets turn of the century. I basically buy what I love. He has a passion for books, buying out the entire libraries of Paramount and Universal Studios. But even more than books, he loves art, collecting the images that would influence his filmmaking. When did you start collecting? I started collecting when I was really in film school. You know, I started out by collecting comic art. I bought a Uncle Scrooge comic page for like $25 and eventually moved myself up to where I could buy the high-end illustrator art. At one point, uh, I wanted to become an illustrator. Um, my father said, no way, I'm going to pay for that. You can go do it on your own if you want, but you'll never make a living as an artist. Instead, he indulged in American artists. Maxfield Parrish, N.C. Wyeth, Norman Rockwell, and developed an eye for storytelling. Illustrators have to tell a lot in one frame. The storyteller, telling yeah. stories to a new generation. Right. Could be you. Well, yeah, and I have a number of Rockwells that are about storytelling. My good friend Steve Spielberg also has a Rockwell con collection, and he focuses on um, storytelling, but also on movies. When you see a Rockwell, you see something of yourself in there, no matter how, who you are, no matter where you came from. Contemporary artists who well, would say, this is, this is sentimental, this is schmaltzy, right. it's not edgy. Well, it's, it's, you know, the end is you either look at the world through cynical eyes or through idealistic eyes. That idealism showed up on the big screen in American Graffiti. And the dreamscapes of Maxfield Parrish inspired the futuristic world of Star Wars. To inspire the next generation, his museum will also celebrate digital design and animation from some of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters. This museum, if anything, is a, is a dedication to cultural fantasy. How do you design environments? How do you design sets? How do you design characters? How do you design costumes? Senator Palpatine, what's happening? Part of the museum is designed to educate younger people into the idea of storytelling, into the idea of being able to paint your fantasies, uh, which is what Star Wars was. Star Wars was there to inspire young people to imagine things, to imagine going anywhere in the universe and doing anything you want to do and using your imagination to entertain yourself. Lucas has thousands that. of pieces, enough to rotate his exhibits every six months for the next six years. His dream location for the museum, here in the shadow of the Golden Gate Bridge. Why here in San Francisco? I've uh, built my business here, I've made all my movies here, I've done everything here, and um, now I'm retired here. Retired after selling his company and Star Wars franchise to Disney for $2 billion. And at age 68, he's also newly married to corporate executive and CBS News financial contributor, Melody Hobson. One of those magical connections that are made, um, which you never think will get made. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to make my own little personal movies and experiment with film and have fun. Can chapter three in any way compare to the first two chapters? Uh, I hope it does. I had a great chapter one, I had an even better chapter two, and uh, I have high hopes for chapter three. For CBS This Morning, you seem happy. I am very happy. I'm Bill Whitaker in San Francisco.